Hello friends, and welcome back to Let's Play Colonization. Our second pioneer, who is actually a blacksmith, has run out of tools, and is again a pioneer after clearing this forest in Roanoke. So I better move this guy because there's no forest to cut here anymore. And the blacksmith I will send to Plymouth, where he will perform the uh, ignoble task of cutting wood. I don't have a carpenter. Obviously, this guy is a blacksmith, but there aren't enough colonists to harvest ore and make tools and be carpenters. So for now, he's going to be a carpenter. And we're still exploring the Andes here. And this guy's got to protect the gold. All right, we've got some fine coats. I know that this soldier just stopped moving, so I'm going to leave the treasure right there for now. We'll contact these Indians. Ah, it's the Arawak. One, two, three, four. One, two. And we've reached the Inca capital. They train silver miners. Apparently all these people do is mine silver. And they want tobacco, tools, and trade goods, which is a pretty typical assortment. Wow, they gave us a thousand gold. That's fantastic. That's, wow. That's just how rich the Inca are. As a casual gift, they give you a thousand gold. <sighs> I should trade with them. But I'd need a wicked trade route to get all the way over there. Really good road. So, now I have 2,600 gold. I can buy things with that kind of gold. I can train anyone here. Not that I'm going to do that. The soldiers would be nice. Elder statesmen are always valuable. They produce uh, liberty bells. Oh, I don't really need them right now. And there's a couple other trades here that are really useful, like fishermen and farmers, but I won't train anyone here. And I'm not going to spend this gold here recruiting people, because they're just going to come to us eventually. We are English, after all. So we get... We only need two-thirds as many uh, crosses to get immigrants as the other nations, the other colonies. But what I do need to purchase is a ship. We can also buy artillery. Artillery is the best thing you can have to defend a town. And it's not useless in offensive capabilities either, but it's only, it only gets like a 25%. It's only 25% as strong outside of a, a town walls. So, my options for 2,000 gold, I can buy a caravel. Not happening. A merchantman which is kind of like a caravel, except it gets more moves, and it has twice as much cargo space, so 400 tons instead of 200 tons. Or I can buy a privateer. I don't know if I can actually... Ah, yes, here we go. Look at that. And the merchantman can't attack, it only defends. Combat 6. I'm not sure exactly what that means. A caravel? Combat 2. Not good. Artillery. Uh, attacking and defending colonies. Use blood attacking fortified units and Indian settlements. When at defending in unprotected terrain, extremely vulnerable, and when attacking, they're ineffective. That's not really true. But they are very expensive. So 500 gold just for that one unit. And then the Privateer. Look at how many moves this guy gets. Eight moves. And we can give this Privateer a letter of mark. Or, I don't know, the King can. Someone's giving him a letter of mark. And with a Privateer, we can actually attack the other, the, the other uh, colony's ships without declaring war. I will buy a Privateer for 2,000 gold. Thank you, Incas. And 
And it can carry cargo, too. I'm not sure what I want, though. <coughs> Tools, maybe? Uh, I don't think I'm going to buy anything just now. Set sail for the new world. So, with eight moves, this privateer is great for exploration. But they're also great for hijacking um, commodities from, say, the wicked Spanish or the insidious French. I haven't even found the Dutch. I might never ever. I might never actually find them. Treasure goes first. All right. There's nothing in Roanoke, so the wagon train is going to continue to Plymouth, where all the rum will be loaded into it. Keep it away from the king's sticky fingers. And the Spanish have burned another Tupi camp. Ah, Spanish, they're so wicked. And the Tupi... Oh, the Tupi have burned Barbados. And Roanoke cannot hold any more sugar, so it's just... It's no longer even doing anything for us. We can turn it into rum if we have another colonist making rum, and enough food to feed another colonist making rum. We haven't got that. The king has increased his military spending for something something to Royal Expeditionary Force. Alright, let's 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 look at that. I think it's in here. This is the Royal Expeditionary Force. This is the force that the king will dispatch if someone, some belligerent colony were to separate from the king temporarily. And regulars are these guys that are not mounted. They are very strong. They're about as strong as our artillery would be. It's quite a large force. All right, so scouts. Did we did we talk with these guys? They they train sugar planters. They want rum, cloth cigars. Pretty typical. They'll tell me tales of nearby lands. All right. Thanks for the nearby lands information. I don't even. I didn't even see them. I didn't even see it. any extra land or sea revealed. But whatever. One, two, three. Right. These guys are gonna go in Roanoke. Wait. These guys are gonna road, road, load more rum into the wagon train. Pioneers, I believe, are gonna be making a road to these rivers. <coughs> if I build colonies way out here somewhere, I would have to build a really long road to get all the way over there. But if I build a road into the river, and I can just use the river as a road, which doesn't go directly to where I need to go, but it's a lot better than actually building a road all the way over there. I don't have that kind of time and those, all those tools. Excellent. The crown wants to claim a share of our gold. I cannot abide by that, however. We cannot actually move this treasure unless we have a galleon fleet. Well, you know, just a galleon. Galleon fleet, galleon. Anyway, I would sooner kiss his royal pinky ring than allow him to take a share of our treasure. So, I'll just park it here in Roanoke for the time being. Price of cloth rose, coats fell, and there are expert lumberjacks available in London because of religious unrest in somewhere. All right. Well, good to have expert lumberjacks. That is a useful unit. And let's go. One, two, three. Well, these these Indians have guns. Who do you think is to blame for that? I'll give you a hint. The, it starts with an S. All right. Roanoke does not have enough horses. Plymouth has more horses. Still not enough horses, but more... They'll have more horses for the soldier first. Load more rum onto the wagon train. Alright. Build a road here. Here is our privateer. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That is a long turn. One, two, three, four. That is a really useful ship. One, 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So unfortunately, Barbados was burned by the Tupi. I can't blame the Tupi for doing it, though. One more move on that caravel. I like having ships to actually move around. It's fun. All right. Nothing but rumors in there. All right. Lord, load more rum. Spanish burned another Tupi camp. Oh wow, the Tupi actually gave us horses. That was nice of them. <coughs> I don't remember ever getting a gift of horses from the Indians. That's kind of weird. And the king is at war with Prussia. And they want to raise the tax rate by 2%. I'm sorry, king, I cannot do it. We will never trade furs again, because no one will buy furs from us, unprocessed fur. And furthermore, the cost of lifting the boycott is more than the value of the furs trade. So I'm afraid this is the end of the furs trade. Plymouth Furs Party. A shame. But Liberty, Sons of Liberty membership improved because of it. All right, scouts, talk. They do expert fishermen. Ooh, that's a good one. I'd actually like to come over here and get an expert fisherman. <coughs> Even if I have to uh, ship him over here. And they want cloth, rum, and cigars. They'll tell me about nearby lands. Yeah, I don't think they told me anything, but it was a nice thought. That privateer is such a great scout. Look at all these locations I could put a put a town in. There's just possibilities. I love it. I could put a town right here. I'd have two ore. I'd have a, a two, a three a lumber squares. And I'd have three squares for food. I don't really need three lumber squares. And I have, I have sea access right there. That would be a good spot for a city. Can I get my scout out here? No. Alright, fine. Don't. 38 horses in Plymouth, 34 horses in Roanoke. The Tupi were generous, though. Do they like to buy some fine quality rum? No? Too much haggling going on? I don't need the furs. The furs are useless. I'm sorry, guy with a grass hat. I can't help you. Not with furs. One, two, three, four. The Indians are pretty nice. They're always giving us stuff. Probably because we're not burning their camps like everyone else. More rum. Why, oh, that's getting tiresome. Alright, so now our towns have river access here. Oops. Alright, I'm stuck here. Maybe I can. No, I can't really navigate over there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight. Oh dear. The French are once again intruding in New England. Oh well, I don't think I can really get them to do anything, so I'm just going to ask them to go in peace. The Spanish got 200 gold from a Tupi camp. Those Spanish, they have no scruples. Oh look, the price of trade goods fell. I might actually be willing to buy some at that price. Of course, they're not, they don't cost 100 gold, they sell for 100 gold. But 100 tons will sell for 200 gold. And I might be able to get more than 200 gold for them in the New World. I could. Possibly. One, two, three. Landfall. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Alright, one more move. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, come on. 
You had so many moves left. My scout wouldn't go up to this lost city rumor. Alright. We still don't have enough horses in Plymouth. I'm doing the horses the hard way, apparently. A load more rum here. And our pioneers were on our way to... On their way to... Uh, I'm sending them over here. To, to do city development. One, two, three, four. Ooh! What is this guy? Francisco Pizarro? <laughs> Fountain of Youth. Yeah, I could use that. We could all use that. Except for the little guys, they couldn't use it. We have discovered a fountain of youth! Excellent! So, we get to pick a bunch of, of uh, emigrants as a result. It's really nice, though. Expert fishermen, elder statesmen, veteran soldiers, seasoned scouts, master weavers, master carpenters, recolonists. I can have criminals or recolonists. I'll take the colonists. So this is what the dock in Europe looks like right now. Kind of busy. I can equip them with horse, these uh, soldiers with horses for 200 gold. That's a lot of money. I think I'll pass on that. I can give this scout's horses to the... Well, I kind of want the scout too. I'll just breed the horses. So I'm going to have to get ships to to ferry all those guys over to the New World. That's a lot of colonists. All right. Our pioneer still traveling. And the Arawaks are waving to us happily. They, they do sugar planters. They want tobacco, trade goods, or cloth. And they have nothing to say to us. And this wicked French caravel is in my way. I don't think they have much of a chance. A hundred tools are now ours. And the French caravel has been damaged. That is the power of a privateer. Alright. One, two, three. Uh, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Hmm, strange burial mounds. Yes, let us search for treasure. It's probably uh, ancient treasure, right? There's an incredible treasure there worth 3,800 gold. Excellent. Unfortunately, I still don't have a galleon, so I can't bring the treasure back to Europe without the king's help. The king is not going to be our friend about getting that treasure in our hands. Alright, so, next time on Let's Play Colonization, we've got to get this treasure back to the colonies. I've got to get another colony started. I only have two colonies. It's pretty sad. And we continue exploring with our scout up here in uh, Hispaniola. And, oh, look at that! There's a Spanish caravel burdened with wealth right next to our privateer. That should be interesting. Next time.